Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to edit the columns of a grid view. Now here we have the example that we did in our last video. Now whenever I select a department, it shows me all the employees of that particular department. Now say I am trying to edit any column and I want to change its department ID. Department ID 3 is nothing but department QA and I want to update it to some other department and say department QC and I thought that the ID of the department is 9 and I am trying to update it. Now says a foreign key constraint that means I should know the ID of each and every department so that is quite difficult. Now instead of this what is that I want whenever I say edit instead of showing it in text box what is that it should do it should show me all the departments in a drop down list as it is showing here. So what is that I need to do? I need to edit the column. So what is that I want? Whenever I click on edit, instead of showing me text box for department ID column, it should show me a drop down list with all the departments and the QA department selected in it. Whatever the department uh, belongs to that particular employee, it should get selected in the drop down list by default. So what is that I should do? It is very simple. I need to edit this department ID column. So how do I edit the department ID column? Let us see. To edit the department ID column, I need to click on smart tag, then say edit columns. And here I have all the columns. See employee ID, employee name, employee salary, employee date of birth, employee gender, whatever I want. I can arrange them here and there. I can move them up and down. Now what I want, I want to change the department ID from text box to drop down list. Now I can alias the column, te header text, I can say DPT ID. The same way I can alias any column, whatever I want. Instead of EMP, DOB, I'll just write DOB, data of birth. Now uh, this is what I can edit all the columns in this way. Now what I want is, I want department ID to display drop down list whenever I click on edit. So I need to select this department and say convert this field into a template field and say ok. Now after saying ok you see that I have edit templates. Now I will click on edit templates and here it is going to show me one and only one column that is department id. Why because I have converted only department id to template field. So I'll select department ID and I have various templates. I have item template and edit item template. Item template is label. That means whenever grid view is showing me the text or grid view is showing me the records, all the values it is displaying in labels. And whenever I click, all the labels are converting to text boxes. That means it is edit item template. So it is showing me a text box. Now what I want, I don't want it to display text box. I want it to display drop down list. So I'll just delete this text box, go to the toolbox, take the drop down list. And now I'm going to configure the drop down list as usual, whatever we did in our last classes. Choose data source, new data source, select database, say OK. Select connection string, next. Select department table say department id, department name, say next, finish. The display item should be name and value should be id. Now this is what the simple thing I can do and apart from this I need to configure one more setting. If you observe this list, here you see edit data binding link. This link was not available when the drop down list was out of this grid view. That means normal drop down list will not have this link. If you take a drop down list in the templates, you will have this kind of link. So what does this link do? Let us see. I will click on edit data bindings. Selected value of the drop down list, I will bind it to department ID and I will say OK. That means whenever I click on edit, the value that should be get selected automatically in the drop down list should be that particular department. So this is how I can set that 
and I'll simply say end template editing. I'll save this and execute this. Now if I select a department, it should display me all the records. Now it is showing department ID as numbers. Now you see that the column name got changed to DPT ID and here DOB and this is what we did right. We have edited the column header text. Now whenever I click edit this ID should get changed to drop down list instead of text box. Earlier it was showing me text box. This time it should show me drop down list. I'll click on edit. So here it goes. It is showing me the drop down list and admin is by default selected. Why? Because this employee belongs to admin. Now I can update the employee to QC and I'll say update. Now if I go to QC, I got that employee here. I'll edit Sita and I'll select admin and I'll send Sita from QC to admin. I'll go to admin and I can see Sita here. Fine. So this is very simple. This is how I can edit the column and I can change the edit template field from text box control to drop down list. As we are getting a drop down list in department ID column in the same way I want to replace my text box with radio button list. So whenever I click on edit it should show me a radio button list instead of text box. And at the time of displaying it should not display me M or E it should display me a radio button list with M as selected and F as unselected. So that means I want to have radio button list in both edit as well as item templates. So what is it I need to do? Click on smart tag, select employee gender, convert to template field. I'd say okay. I'm repeating all the steps that I did in my earlier column editing. Now I'll say edit template. Now this time it should show me two columns. See that employee gender as well as department ID. Now I want to edit employee gender. Now what is it I want to do? Item I want to show as radio button list. So I'll remove label and edit as well I want to show as radio button list. Even this I'll remove. Now I'll go to toolbox and I'll take radio button list one in that item template and another in my edit item template. Now configuring both of them in the same way. How? I'll just first of all configure the item template and I'll say edit items. I'll add two items male and female and this is male. So I have male as well as female. Now I'll say okay. Now edit data binding selected value I'll make it to employee gender I'll say ok and I need to set two properties one is I'll arrange them in horizontal order so repeat direction I'll make it horizontal and another is I'll make it enabled false save this now in the same sense I need to uh, configure the second radio button list I'll say edit items I'll add two items male and female so, ok edit data bindings selected value employee gender ok come to the properties change the orientation from vertical to horizontal and this time I should not make it enabled false it should be enabled true why because at the time of editing I may change from male to female or female to male and I'll end editing template and that's it. So this is how I am digging into the grid view that means I can work with the grid view as I like I can have all the columns edited and convert to template now I'll select a department. You see that it is showing me male, female, male, female selected with enabled false. Now I'll edit this and I can change from male to female and I can update this. 
Now you see that Bob got updated to female. I will edit this instead of Bob, I will make it Bobby. And gender is female, and department I can change it to QC, and I will update this. Now Bobby will be available in QC. See that. So that's it. This is how I can edit each and every field, and I can make it as I like. So this is all about your editing the columns in grid view. Thank you very much.